In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Fisher rule to convert the escalated dollar and constant dollar rates. So in the previous example, we calculated the rate of return for the escalated dollar cash flow and also for the constant dollar cash flow. But after we calculate the rate of return, we need to compare it with something, with a minimum rate of return to, to, to conclude that if we are going to have a good investment or, or not, if the project is going to be economically satisfactory or uh, this is not going to be a good project. Here is the summary of previous examples result. So this is the escalated dollar cash flow and rate of return for escalated dollar cash flow is 33.6%. And this is the constant dollar cash flow that we calculated and rate of return for constant dollar cash flow was 16.2. So we have two rate of returns, the escalated dollar cash flow rate of return and constant dollar cash flow rate of return. So for example, if we have other in investment opportunities that give 25% rate of return on the escalated dollar cash flow, then we can conclude that this is a good investment because escalated dollar cash flow is 33.6% and this uh, project is economically satisfactory. But the minimum rate of return of 25% on the escalated dollar cannot be applied to the constant dollar rate of return. This is a very important uh, point that you should always uh, be very careful about. So as you saw in previous slides, escalated dollar rates cannot be compared with the constant dollar rates. So Fisher rule is the equation that helps us co compare and convert these rates. I wrote the equation here, uh, I is the escalated dollar rate of return, I prime is the constant dollar rate of return, and F is the inflation rate. So you can, you can calculate any of these uh, from the other two, and you can, this is, this is applicable for any other rate. So here it's for the rate of return, but you can use this equation for any other rate that you need uh, to convert uh, for the escalated dollar or the constant dollar. So using this equation, we can simply calculate the constant dollar rate of return given the inflation rate and escalated dollar rate of return. So we, cal we can calculate any rate, any constant constant dollar rate given the inflation rate and constant uh, dollar rate. So for example, we calculated the, ex the escalated dollar rate of return as 33.6% and we considered the 15% of inflation rate. Knowing these two, using the Fisher rule, we can easily calculate the constant dollar rate of return. So we just plug the uh, the I and F uh, escalated dollar rates and inflation rate and we calculate the I prime or the rates uh, the, the constant dollar rate as 16.2 which is exactly the same as what we calculated for constant dollar rate of return so again Fisher rule can be used to convert any escalated dollar rate to the constant dollar rate using the inflation rate. For example, using the Fisher rule, we can calculate the minimum rate of return for constant dollar given the inflation rate and the minimum rate of return for the escalated dollars. So we, write, we rewrite the equation as, uh, as the, the equation 5-2. I star is the escalated dollar minimum rate of return I prime star is the constant dollar minimum rate of return and F is the inflation rate. 
So going back to the previous example, escalated dollar minimum rate of return was considered as 25%. So if we want to calculate the minimum rate of return for constant dollar, we can use the Fisher rule and considering the inflation rate of 15% and calculate the minimum rate of return for constant dollar as 8.6%. Please remember, we calculated the escalated dollar cash flow as 33.6% and the minimum rate of return for the escalated dollar cash flow is 25%. And then we concluded that because the rate of return is higher than the minimum rate of return, we can conclude that this project is economically satisfactory. But we said that you cannot compare the constant dollar uh, cash flow rate of return with this 25%. So we need to calculate, we needed to calculate the uh, minimum rate of return for constant dollar cash flow. And that's, that's what we calculated as 8.7%. So because this 16.2% of rate of return for the constant dollar cash flow is higher than 8.7% of uh, minimum rate of return for the constant dollar cash flow, we can conclude that this project is economically satisfactory. So our new, uh, new base to compare the constant dollar cash flow is the constant dollar minimum rate of, rate of return of 8.6%.